I'm Joy Banfield, AccuQuilt's Chief of Staff. Welcome to today's launch party. We are going to reveal an exclusive dye to try dye that we think you are going to adore. We're always looking for new ways to bring you innovative products that help you create quilt blocks that you might think are out of reach. But using AccuQuilt dyes will make creating time consuming blocks fast and easy. Our Dye to Try series allows you to test out new dyes for a limited time. Making them exclusive allows us to bring new products to you so much faster than our usual launches. And the thing to remember about these releases is that we only carry a limited number of them. So you have to buy them before they sell out. I can't wait for you to see this month's Dye to Try because it is going to make creating this block fast, easy, accurate, and safe. So let me quickly introduce you to your quilt recipe enthusiasts, Pam and Erica. Hi, Miss Joy. Hello. How are you? I'm good. All right, I sure do love a quilt, good quilt recipe, don't you, Erica? Oh, you know I do, Pam. All right, quilters, let's get this dyed to try lunch party started so we can share some with our quilters. As always, we planned a lot of fun for you today. We've got great prizes, exciting project ideas, an inspirational trunk show, and some special deals. All right, ladies, I am going to leave the big reveal in your hands while I go greet a special visitor who's joining us in just a little bit. Have a great Super. show. All right, we'll Joy. see you in a bit. All right, quilters, I'm so excited about today's special guest. Kelly Ashton is going to be joining yes. us a little later. She's been on our show before. She's going to give us some great tips and tricks that you'll want to use for today's dye to try. That's right. Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's see the new dye. Are you ready to take your quilting skills to the next level? Then get ready for the new Go Cornucopia 10 inch Finish Die to Try series die. This new block and board or bob will help you create this traditional block quickly. Simply run the six by 24 inch die through any of our Go fabric cutters to cut an entire five color block in a matter of seconds. This bob features specialized dog ears, quarter inch seam allowance, and screen printed letters to allow for easy piecing. Get accurate cuts every time to create perfect points. Plus, the Go Cornucopia die provides you with plenty of opportunities to practice your Y seams, use up scraps, and expand your creative options. Detailed block assembly instructions are included on the packaging and also available as a free download at AccuQuilt.com. Remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Oh, quilters, working with this new die has been so inspiring. Oh, it has been. The cornucopia die will not only cut a five color block in just seconds, but it's going to help you use up scraps and learn a whole new quilting technique. And it's perfect. It's the perfect die for the season. All right, now quilters, in July, AccuQuilt and our sister companies came together to donate 244 pounds of food to our communities. That translates into 203 meals. That's right. And with Thanksgiving coming up, we want to challenge you to do the same in your communities, if you're able. The past couple of years have been tough on so many people, and we believe that no one should have to worry where their next meal will come from. So let's all get together and help ensure that everyone can have a feast for this upcoming holiday season. Now, be sure to let us know if your family or your quilting group donates food and how many pounds, and you can do that on our Facebook page. We'd love to keep track of how our quilting community is giving back to their community this holiday season. That's right. We can't wait to see how all of us can make a positive change in our communities when we work together. Now, quilters, because this is a die to try, we only have a limited number of them. So remember, it's important to buy yours before they're gone. That's right. And we've put together some very tasty specials for you today so you can get everything that you need. So first up, you can get the Go Cornucopia die for just $64.99. Getting the die today will save you over $24. 
or you can get one of our special holiday bundles, okay? Yeah. So first up, we've got the Go Select 10 inch block on board die bundle, allowing you to create the most wonderful quilts with coordinating dies. You'll get the Go Cornucopia die, it finishes to a 10 inch block, along with the Go Courtyard die, which also finishes to 10 inches, pineapple and the chimney sweep, all of them finish to 10 inches, and a Go 6x24 cutting mat and a 6x12 cutting mat. Now, all of this normally would run you $383, but you can get it all today for just $279.99, saving you over $100. If you live in the contiguous U.S., we're going to ship it to you free. That's right. Or you can indulge yourself with the best fabric cutter to keep up with all of your upcoming holiday fabric projects. Choose the Go Big 10-inch Cornucopia Starter Pack to get the Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter Starter Set plus our new Go Cornucopia die and the 6x24 cutting mat. Normally, all of this would run you $810, but you can get it all today for just $599.99, saving you over $200, and we'll give you that free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. Quilters, be sure to check out our current promotions on our sale page to get discounts on cutting mats. Mm -hmm. Boy, you need those all yep. the time. Cubes and more. Now, to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image on the screen, and it'll take you right to the bundle. If you don't have access to a QR reader, you'll want to open a new tab in your browser, so go to the top of the page, click on the little plus sign. In that very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party, because we're having a party here we today. We are. You'll see the bundles, and you can place your order. That way, you're not going to miss a minute of the show. And we know our dyes and fabric cutters are an investment, so AccuQuilts offers fast and easy financing with either installments or split pay options. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. That's right. All okay. right, shall we look at that new oh, dye, Oh, I Erica? think we should. All right, now listen, we already had our fabric on we it. Did, so we did, so we'll pull it off it right and show off. it to you. Yep. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is such a great dye quilter. Okay, I'm going to put it right here so Justin can get a great shot of it. Well, okay, so the first thing we need to know, yep. it's on a 6x24 die board. Which means it's going to fit in all of our Go cutters. Right, including that Go Me. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you have a 6x24 cutting mat. Yes. Right, don't use your 10x24. No, it could slip. You could have, you could not get a, a great yeah. cut. So use the right mat. So all nine of the shapes on the die board are screen printed. Why did we screen print them? So you can keep track of your pieces yes. while you're going. And this is really important. Yes. And we're going to tell you to download the pattern, right? Yep. And make a test block. Um, because some of our pieces like D and D are right here. They fit on certain pieces right. on the block, right? right. And some of our pieces... Um, you need to fan fold so you get a left and yep. a right. Yep. Right. So just pay attention. You can also t make use of the downloadable block assembly directions on the website as well. Right. And that's where you're going to find that coloring sheet so that you can work with different color combinations before you get started. I think that's a great idea. Also, Erica, we have those specialized dog ears right here. That's so right. So we can always have that great quarter inch seam from here to here. That's going to allow you to really get an accurate block. Right. And with those specialized dog ears, they're just going to line up perfectly for you. Right. Now, this block does have a few Y seams. It does. But don't be scared of Y seams. That's okay? right. Um, uh, Kelly is going to come back and show us she like, is. step by step she on is. how to create those. Don't now, be afraid. This is a great block that, or dyed that's great for fat quarters, mm -hmm. but totally scrappy, right? Yeah, you totally could. Okay, and it comes with four free patterns. We will show you later on. I love it. Okay, so Erica, should we show okay. them how we lay down Let's the fabric do. here? Now this is the, the shape B is the center piece, and we've got a block oh, over here, there. Maybe look, we, we should grab it. Oh, here, Here, let's start let's, with that. Let's start, start with that. <laughs> it's always so, good to have a block. It is. Well, that way we don't get lost. There we go. So here's our shape B, and this is the center, or kind of the, the cornucopia center. Right. And that's going to be shape B, so we're just going to need one of those. Right. Now, our A shapes, you can see we've got in pairs, and right. so those are fan folded. And I did something a little a little different. A little wild there, Erica. A little wild here. I cut off the corner, but you're going to see why in a minute. Yep. And then E's Shape are those E's. squares. Those are the squares. They're yellow and green. So what I did was cut my strips, put them together, fan folded them. That's going to give me all that I need. 
Right. And it's my six layers because right. I can cut up to how many layers? Six layers of cotton. You can See? cut other things, but always cotton. And this is what we call a block on board or a bob die. Mm -hmm. So all the pieces you need to make one block are on the die board. Yep. Okay, now this was a little different. Yes. This is all the um, black edges here. All your background kind okay. of Okay, why did we fan fold it? We fan folded it because piece C, and this is down here at the bottom, you can see you need mirror images. Yes. It is a directional shape. It's basically a chisel shape. It is. We always remind you that the chisel is directional. So here we're gonna need a match set. We're gonna need mirror images, so we have fan folded that fabric. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna layer fabric down here, yep. and we're gonna use a six by 24 cutting mat and run it through. Today we're gonna use our Go Big, don't forget we have that Go Big bundle. That's right. It has the Go Big electric fabric cutter and the cornucopia die and the match you need. Okay, look at this. This is how you should cut fabric quilters. Always. Always. Now, if you don't have a Go Big yet, today would be a great day to upgrade to a Go Big and get this new die at the same time. Yes. And we told you that there are Y seams coming up, but don't let that Y seam intimidate you. They're no. really easy once you understand how to tackle them. Absolutely right. In fact, I sewed some last night. Okay, we're gonna give it a little uh, love because it's static yeah, in it is. Dream Studio. Always. So we're gonna slide, don't lift. And here's our big reveal. I, this is my favorite part. Yes. Okay, so look at this. So now we have all of the shapes that we need to create our block. And because we fan folded here, we've, we've got, got those mirror images. Right. So Erica cut off that little edge so that we could lay our right. fabric down. Because I wanted all my layers. I had six over here. I didn't want the overlap. That's so right. I went ahead and cut that off. Yeah. So Erica, this section right here is actually, if you follow the instructions, this is where we're, one of our first Y seams it is, is, right? It is, it is. And so this is an interesting construction. You actually construct one half, this half of the block and this half of the block. Right. You put them together and then these side inset seams or Y seams are gonna right. be the last thing that you do. Right, all right. And Kelly is gonna show us how to do all of that. She is. So we are being joined by our special guest, Kelly Ashton. She's with Kelly Quilter Designs. She is going to give us her expert tips on how to tackle those Y seams in our cornucopia block. That's right. Kelly is an accomplished quilter, quilt designer, teacher, author, and ambassador for Bernina. She is joining us virtually today. Welcome to the show, Kelly. We're so glad you're back. Welcome back, Kelly. We're excited hey, to have you. It's really great to see you. It's good, so to, good to see you. Good. Are you doing well? I am, thank you. I'm enjoying the cooler weather. Yes. I think fall's getting here. Yes. Gorgeous. Yes. All right, we're excited to have you, and it's always a treat to have you, but you've had a little time to play with this cornucopia die, and we heard you made a pattern with it, and I'm guessing it's hanging behind you. It is hanging behind me. I had such a good time using the cornucopia die. Um, I made a quilt that I think um, maybe we're going to put a picture up of yep. that used eight whole blocks and 12 half blocks. And I so know. a little okay. bit like oh, there oh, it there's is. the half there's... box. Yeah. Okay. I love so the concept of the half box. This is just about 60 inches. Oh, nice. It's yeah, a good size. Yeah, just about 60 inches square. Do I see a flange binding on there or is that just the binding? It's just the binding. Oh, and but you use it. My, um, oh, you use the <laughs> yeah. you use the floral. I love how it picks up all the colors inside the quilt too. Okay, and Kelly, what other dyes did you use in this great design? It's beautiful. Thank you. In this design, I also used the 10 inch setting triangle die, which is so wonderful. I used a two and a half inch strip die. I used a two and a half inch uh, no, a two inch finished half square triangle. So I actually used die number five from my eight inch mix and match cube. And I'll show you on the half blocks where I use that a little bit later when we talk about um, construction. And so I just got to use a variety of dies to make this wonderful quilt. I love that it's scrappy, Kelly. I mean, I just feel like, you know, we talk about that all the time that go dies, you can always use yeah. your scraps. This is such a great way to bust up your scraps. It is. I love it. All right, quilters, we're gonna see Kelly again in just a little bit, and she's gonna share with us on some really great tips and tricks on how to sew those Y yep. seams, okay? Yep. So Kelly, we'll see you back in a bit. We'll be right back. See you soon. 
Okay, that was stunning. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty. And I love the concept of those half blocks. Yes. Because in my quilting head, I think, oh, I should make the whole block. Right. Right? Okay. All right, so quilters, today we're going to introduce you to our experts for today's challenge. We've challenged two of our experts to create some new quilt recipes using the new Go Cornucopia die. That's right. So first up, we have Anita. Now, like many of our experts, her passion for quilting goes back to her childhood. Because of the time she spent with her grandmother, she'll forever link quilting to storytelling. Anita's been using AccuQuilt for over four years now. Now for this challenge, she's going to be creating a new project using the Go Cornucopia die with another block on board die. Oh, I'm excited to see what that will Me be. Me too. And our grandkids will say that, our grandmothers. They will. And we only they taught will. them with AccuQuilt. That's right. <laughs> Next we have Jeannie. She has used and sold AccuQuilt products at quilt shows and retreats since 2008. As soon as she was old enough to operate a sewing machine by herself, she began lifelong hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. Jeannie is an active member of several quilting guilds and is the chapter chair of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Society. Society. Uh, Society. We've challenged Jeannie to make something pairing the new die with the 10 inch cube and companion sets. Oh, I wonder what our experts are gonna cook up for this challenge. They are so smart. They All right. are. We'll find out in a moment. First, how about we do a giveaway? Oh, great idea, Pam. All right, today we're gonna give away our new Go Cornucopia die. That's right, that means four of our registered viewers will get one of our new dies today just for registering for today's event. Our giveaways are just one way that we like to say thank you for being part of our community. We appreciate you and everything that you contribute. Thank you for making AccuQuilt so amazing. Yes, thanks so much. All right, quilters, let's give away our first die. Today's first lucky winner of the new Go Cornucopia die is, drum roll please, Nancy M. from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Congratulations. All right, the second winner of a delicious Go Cornucopia die is, Matthew J. from South Glens Falls, New York. Congratulations. I wonder if Matthew is a Yankees fan. I think there's a strong possibility. Good job. All right, it's time to check out what our first expert has come up with. Anita, what have you gotten prepped? Hi, ladies. How are y'all doing today? I am so glad to be here today with this new um, block on board, the Cornucopia. One of the reasons, because it's finally fall and it's my favorite season of the year. Now, when I started working with the Cornucopia die, I found it to be the most versatile bob that I've worked with in a long time. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. So I have a couple pieces I have here laid out for you to show. The first one is a table runner. Now I'm gonna tell you guys that this was my test block for the Cornucopia. And I just pulled some fabric out so it doesn't look very fall, but I liked it so much, I went ahead and made a table runner out of it. These blocks are so easy to put together. And the reason I say that this is very versatile, you see the center block here? That is also made with all the pieces you find on the Cornucopia Bob. So I really like this and it came out great. And I'll be ahead for the spring. Now here is my EQ8. A couple of designs I made up on there, and this is very fall-like. And as you can see, it's a cornucopia, and in the middle is our um, pineapple dye. And I just love the colors of this. It looks very fall. And this would make a very nice table runner. But then I found out, you know, cornucopia is not just for the fall, you guys. Look at this. This is going to be my Christmas tree skirt. And what I've done here is I've had the cornucopia on the corners. I put the poinsettia in the middle. And then this line here is where I plan on stitching that out. I'm going to cut that open, leave the middle of that open as well, and it'll fit right around my Christmas tree. How amazing is that? And then I normally don't do this, but I wanted to show y'all one of my whips. Don't get excited. It's just a work in progress, okay? Now, I started out with using the cornucopia diamonds here, and then I found that using our Stormit Seabob, 
I could pull those larger um, squares off of it. And then I went straight back to my cornucopia die here. And so my hope is to just keep going on this and see how big a medallion I can get. I do have a couple of things in mind that I've been working on. And it's, of course, going to be in fall colors because I just love that. So check back in a little bit, and I'm excited to show you what I've created. Okay, I, I love that block that she paired with the Storm at Sea Dye. Yes. And just kind of creating that medallion. Just that medallion. But that tree skirt. So oh cute. Oh, my gosh, so cute. And that, that uh, we always think of the courtyard as looking like a poinsettia. Right. So it's right. a perfect pair. And that's part of our big bundle today, right? Yes, that's right. It yep. is part of the bundle. Yep. And Jeannie talked about that pineapple dye, and that's the center for that as well. We so get there yet. we haven't got there yet. Shh, don't Shh. tell anybody. All right. <laughs> Quilters, I'm going to ask you to vote on your favorite final expert project. She did. She had a paper that had the pineapple in the middle. Did she? Oh, shoo. Sometimes. I think we've seen it yet. We have, I promise. Okay. Alert. Make sure you don't miss our project's final reveal. All right, we'll if you're out. joining us a little late and new to AccuQuilt, we'll find out which one of us is nuts. And you'll know that you wouldn't know that this show is actually a die to try launch party. Right. So for this show, we are launching a limited quantity die. We do that on the first Tuesday of every month. Right. This program allows us to offer you the chance at fun dies. Our die to try dies are only available at AccuQuilt's website, so you won't find them anywhere else. That's right. And by making them exclusive, we're able to bring new products to you faster than an average launch. Plus, if you really enjoy the die and think it should be available as part of our permanent collection, then you can vote for it on the AccuQuilt website as well. That's right. You get to decide. It's a great way for us to know what dyes you absolutely love or found helpful. Now, once a die is sold out, you can still vote on the specific dyes ordering page. You'll find a vote now button and all you need to do is click on it. Enter your email, click vote once more. It's that easy. All right, quilters, now remember that we have three special deals for you that are only good until midnight central time. You can get the Go Cornucopia die for just $64.99, saving you over $24 when you buy it today. Or you can get one of our special holiday bundles. First up is the Go Select 10 inch block on board die bundle. You'll get everything you see here, including that pineapple die and that courtyard die and that um, chimney sweep mm -hmm. for $279, saving you over $100. We're going to ship it to you free. Now, next up is the Go Big 10 inch cornucopia I starter this. pack. This is going to get you everything you see here for $599.99, saving you over $200. And of course, with both of the bundles, you're gonna get that free shipping if you're in the contiguous US. Right. Now, quilters, you can take advantage of our current promotion mm -hmm. on our website sale page to get discounts on cutting mats, cubes, and more. You always Since need you mats. Yeah, and you don't need a promo code to get today's That's bundles. Right. They're just That's gonna right. be on our website. All right, now let's check in with another expert, Jeannie, and see oh. what she's cooking up. Spoiler I alert. If it has something to do with hmm, a pineapple dye. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Check it out. Hey, ladies. I had all sorts of ideas to go with this wonderful cornucopia dye. And the main reason I had so many ideas is because I'm pairing it with a 10 inch cube. And do you know? that there are 216 different blocks that are available from the cube and the companions, corners and angles to use with it. So my mind was just blown away with all the possibilities of what I could do. Let me take you down to my table so I can show you a little closer up some of the ideas that I came up with. So I used electronic quilt H which is available for purchase from AccuQuilt, and it already had the cornucopia block in it. So I colored it in with some wonderful fall colors. Then the next block I picked out to go with that was the Confident Woman. And I used the 10 inch cube to make this, and I used some, made it with fall colors and just filled it in so it would make this beautiful combination for the quilt top which is right here. And I just put the blocks in every other. And then I changed it and put it on point. And you can see that it, the block 
the cornucopia looks totally different when it's done on point. Next, I decided to use the churn dash. And I once again took that churn dash and put it on point and added it in with the cornucopia and made this wonderful uh, quilt top. Then I went to the maple leaf because of course the leaves all change colors in the fall and I thought it would look wonderful with the cornucopia. And here is the quilt top that I made using the maple leaf with the, out of the 10 inch tube and isn't it beautiful? And then last, I used the Lemoyne Star, which is another very traditional block. Now this block is available from AccuQuilt as a ball, on a bob die, but of course I needed it in a 10 inch. So I used my cube to make the Lemoyne Star, and then I mixed it with the cornucopia, sort of making a center area here on the, that you could also make any other sort of medallion, and then use the cornucopia to go all around it in this layout. So there are so many different possibilities of how you can use this die. So as you can see, the cornucopia die is just wonderful and it pairs perfectly with that 10 inch cube. But I've got another idea of using some other things to go with it in my challenge piece. I can't wait to share it with you. All right. I love the fact that Jeannie takes a block and turns it on point. The difference between the two is always amazing. That's why everybody needs those setting triangles. Yeah, 10 inch setting triangles to go with the cornucopia. Yeah, totally. All right, let's bring Kelly back to show us how she makes the cornucopia block. Yeah, then you and I, we don't have to. Yes, All right, Kelly, right. here we go. Hey, oh, Kelly. Thanks so, so much for joining hey, us. Everybody. Again. Okay, now uh, we understand that you have like step-by-steps on how to sew those Y seams. So why don't you walk us through it? I would be happy to. So you all know I love my Y seams. You do. And I just want you to know, just like Pam and Erica said, they are nothing to be afraid of. The key is to know where to start and where to stop your seams and then they go like a breeze. So of course, when you get your cornucopia die, you've got instructions on the back of the packaging that shows you how to construct the block. And I always like options. So I'm gonna actually approach it just a little bit differently. We're gonna go through and look at each of the segments and units and show you how they go together. So Perfect. we are gonna start with this first little segment, which uses pieces E and F. F are the little triangles, E is the square. And I started with this one because this one has no set in seams. So right. this is just your straight sewing. Yeah, just sew can. those for days. That's right. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this little triangle and put it right sides together. We love our engineered corners that come out perfectly with the AccuQuilt dies. And you can just chain piece these units. Yes. Yep. So as many as you need to do, man, you go for it. Then the next one, thing we're gonna do is put this second little triangle on. And again, these can be chain pieced. So I've just chain pieced this second right. triangle on and you can just go to town and you end up with this cute little triangle shaped pieced segment. Correct. And I also put the back one on so I could show you how I pressed it. Because even though usually you know, the rule is to press toward the dark, on this I didn't. I wanted to press out because it just makes this unit lay more flat. Correct. So I press my seams to the outside. Great. So that's all there is to that first little segment. Okay, so not so hard. Not so hard. So the next thing we're going to do then is attach that segment to our petal pieces. Now the first thing that I want to show you is how you mark for a set in seam because this unit of course does have our Y seam. Yep, right. And so I've got my two petal pieces right sides together and I'm gonna bring it up where you can see my little markings. You can see over here, I've got my little markings, my oh, little right lines. There. And the way that I did that was with a little ruler and any of your rulers will work that has the quarter inch marking on it, okay? So you're just gonna mark in a quarter inch from both edges and where those two lines intersect, that's where you're gonna start your seam. And I used, this wonderful clover fine tip water erasable marker. 
And you can find this on the AccuQuote website under accessories. Yes. They have two, one with a fine tip, one with a thick. You want to use the fine tip so that you have those nice fine lines. Yep, that's perfect. So you're just going to mark your pieces. So here now I've sewed two of those petal pieces together. Okay. And you can see here where I started that seam a quarter inch away, but down at the bottom, I went ahead and took it all the way through. And because Kelly, down at the bottom, it's gonna go together fine. Did you back stitch at that, where that little, at the top, did you go back a couple of stitches? I did, and I always do when I've got a place where I'm gonna do a set in seam so that as I'm manipulating my pieces, I don't accidentally unstitch a couple of I, stitches because then you I have a hole in your that. block. Yeah, that's a great yeah, that's tip. that's a great tip. So that's really helpful. So now we're gonna put one of our little piece triangle units together with our petals. So I open this up, I've got the seam pressed here to one side, okay. and I just place this right sides together. Okay. And here again, down at this corner, you're only gonna, you're gonna stitch all the way from the outside and stop a quarter inch away. So here's another place where you would mark your little lines right. so you know right where to stop that seam. And we so tell that's the first seam. We tell quilters don't eyeball it, right? Use a ruler. Don't eyeball it. Yeah. Yep. It is worth taking that couple of seconds just to mark it. Yep. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to bring this up so you can see it so that I can line these pieces together and sew this other seam. Now well, here's something, I'm not big as the rules. <laughs> But there's one rule that you always want to do when you're sewing pieces with set in seams, and that is not to sew a previously stitched seam into a seam. Right. So I've got my seams pulled back out of the way, and I'm going to turn this around so you can see the other side. All of these right. seam allowances get pulled back out of the way mm -hmm. so that when I stitch this seam, it's, I'm only stitching the pieces that I want sewn together. Perfect. Perfect. And then I end up with this little petal unit. It's dark. And there are three of these petal units in each block. Right. And it's so just I just cute go like ahead and make that, three of these. It? Yeah, it's darling. Yeah, because there's our little block. So we've got three of those petal units in the block. Because my construction is just a little bit different than the way that um, the instructions are on the packaging. So that's what I'm going to show you next is here's how I put my three petal units and my cornucopia together. Look at so that. I've got, so you don't have to put in that well, wine It's like seam. a four patch. Yes. You know, because all of these are 90 degree angles. So when you sew these on the outside corner, because we're going to do set-ins in all four corners, you start a quarter inch in again, and a quarter inch, leave a quarter inch down here. So when I sewed these two together, I left the quarter inch open down here. Sure. Okay. Where my pointer is. Yep, right Stitched there. Stitched all the way from the edge, stopped at a quarter inch in. And the same thing here. I stitched all the way from here and stopped a quarter inch up here. And then you're just going to put these pieces right sides together, just like with your four patch. Have You have your little seams okay, that, that, is that super nudge together. And you're going to start a quarter inch in here, stitch all the way across, mm -hmm. and stop a quarter inch away down here. Oh, so that it is makes super it really, slick. really simple. And it, that way you've got that center, those seams go together beautifully. The next little segment we're going to make then are those square pieced corner units. And here again, we've got a set in seam that we're going to work with. So I always lay out my pieces. We've got that E square. We've got the D and D reversed, and those are the three pieces that go in here. So the first seam we're gonna sew is we're just gonna put this square right sides together. And once again, we're gonna stitch from the outside and stop at a quarter inch. Stop at that quarter yep. inch point. Now, once again, here's another example of when I opened this up, I pressed my seam toward my D piece. Okay. Right? It's just going to lay better. And then I can bring this right sides together and stitch again 
from the outside, stopping at that quarter inch right, right here. Okay. Oh, wow, that is amazing. So now we've got this little unit. Once again, we're gonna get all of those seam allowances back out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I just pinned them out of the way on both sides. You never want rear. to stitch I those seam allowances in. I love that you used to in. pin. Yeah. I do love that you used to pin. Yep. And then we're just gonna sew that seam. So it's gonna start at the quarter inch in and go all the way down to the bottom. And when we open it up, we've got that nice little pieced corner unit Again, here's how it's pressed. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that all the pieces go to those, all the pressing seams go to the D pieces. Yeah. So finally then, just putting the block all together, yeah. here we are because those pieced square units are gonna go in the upper right and left corner. Okay, so there's sure. one that's completely in. Here's one where once again, we're setting this in. So our seam's gonna stop a quarter inch away. Yep. So there's my seam. And then I'm going to unpin this and pull this around so right sides together and stitch that seam from the quarter inch point all the way out to the edge. And then we're going to put in our bottom C pieces. So here again, set in. There's one that's already in. I stitch this seam from the outside and stop at a quarter inch away. Unpin. And then I'm going to swing this around and stitch that last bit of a seam starting at a quarter inch and taking it all the way out to the edge. Yep. Oh my gosh. It's really just about that quarter inch seam mark, isn't it? Oh, wow. It really, really is. That just makes all the difference. So that's how I approached putting together the block. Like I said, Perfect. it's a little different than the instructions, but it's nice to have options and either way gets you a finished block. That's right. right. right? Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you so much. I just wanted to show you too on the half block. Down here is where I used my little um, oh, half, half square, square oh, triangle, okay. two inch in. So now you can see that instead of cutting one of these in half, I just used that half square triangle. Perfect oh, for your two love inch. That. Oh, it's so darling. There you go. Excellent oh my gosh. tip. Oh, Kelly, thanks so much for taking us through the block. You did a fantastic job, and I'm sure all of our quilters agree. Absolutely. And again, thanks so much for joining us to Kel today, Kelly. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. See you all later. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. We'll, we will always look forward to having Kelly on the show. Right. Now, quilters, don't forget, all of our AccuCut Live events are recorded, so you can come back and watch that. If you're putting the That's block right. together, you can follow Kelly's instructions on how to piece it together. That's right. And be sure you follow Kelly at kellyquilter.com. On her website, you're going to find a wonderful world with all of her workshops, lectures, books, patterns, templates, blog posts, and so much more. So if you're not following her yet, you've been missing out. But it's never too late to get started. All right, quilters, don't forget, whenever you want AccuQuilt tips and inspiration, yes. you can visit AccuQuilt's blog. Caden, our go-getters, and I cover everything from organizational tips and tricks to exclusive project tutorials. We can always give you blog posts focused on new dyes that you won't want to miss. And if you're subscribed, then you'll get notified whenever new blogs go live. So don't forget to do that to have all the fantastic projects and tips sent directly to you. And what's on the blog this week? The new dye. The new cornucopia the dye. The new cornucopia. Tune in later this week. We've got some other fun things too. Now remember, we have three special deals for you that are good until midnight central time. Get the Go Cornucopia die for just $64.99, saving you over $24, but you have to buy it today. Or get one of our special holiday bundles. First up is the Go Select 10-inch Block on Board die bundle. You get everything you see here for $279.99, saving you over $100. Be sure to get your bundle today. And next up is the ultimate way to get started with it the is. Cornucopia die. It's the Go Big 10-inch Cornucopia Starter Pack. You'll get everything you see here for $599.99, saving you over $200. And remember, with those two bundles, you're going to get free shipping in the contiguous U.S.
Plus, you can take advantage of current promotions on our website sale page to get discounts on cutting mats, cubes, and more. Absolutely. Don't forget, if you don't have one of those marking pens, we have them under the accessories. That's right. Now, our friends at Northcott Fabric are really helping us make this a fun party. They're really kind of tying everything together and putting a bow are, on it, aren't they? They are, they are, they are. They have provided us with these two lovely selections of fabric. They're fat quarter bundles, and you may recognize this fabric. Yes. Because we cut it for our block earlier, and we're gonna, you're gonna see it in a whole project that we used it in. Yes. And I just love it. It's got just a little uh, kind of tone on tone crosshatch, but yes. I love a little movement in my fabric. I do too. And this is just gorgeous, and the colors are yummy. And I'm a huge modern quilter. These are perfect right down my alley, all right? All right. So let's give our first fabric bundle away to drum roll, please. From Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, you got a little carried away talking about it, but I know, I love it. The, the winner of our second selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Betty P from Linda, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. And a huge shout out to Northcott for sponsoring today's show. We know our quilters will use these ingredients to whip up a delicious project. Now don't forget, you can take a photo of your own fabrics and enter them into our free Go Quilt tool to see what your projects will look like before you even get started cutting and sewing. To try it out, simply go to AccuQuilt's website and click on the green button that says Go Quilt. It's on the upper right hand corner of the website. Right, now if you need help using this tool, uh, we made some videos taking you step by step through the entire process. They're available on our YouTube page. That's right. All right, quilters, we're gonna be asking you to vote on your favorite experts projects ever so soon that's right all right so that I guess means that we should reveal we should our experts final projects I wonder what they've come up with I wonder when we're gonna see that pineapple we have dye. seen it I promise you <laughs> go ahead what have you got Anita welcome back ladies I am so excited to show y'all my finished project made of those beautiful fall colors so without further ado I present to you it's fall y'all Here's my wall hanging. It is made up of three blocks, one of them being that pickle block, pickle dish block there to make the circle. And then this outer block and the inner medallion is all made from components of our new cornucopia die. I hope y'all like it as much as I enjoyed making it. Okay. It's fall, y'all. It's so cute. <laughs> And, I okay, it. I have made dozens of those Go Pickle Dish blocks, but I feel like Anita has made even more. I think she has. I love Darling. how she paired those two up. It's a great Super team. Super cute. All right, Jeannie, what have you whipped up for us today? So this is my windy fall day, and I made it using the cornucopia die, the maple leaf die, the 8-inch cube, and the 10-inch cube, and then a lot of the different applique leaf shapes and pumpkin shapes. And I even used my 10 inch cube to make these little pumpkins or bigger pumpkins down here in the corner. And I just had a lot of fun making this quilt and I really hope that you enjoy it too. I just don't remember it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love the whole using different sizes of cubes to create the project. All the leaves, I just oh, love all the. so pretty. All right, quilters, yeah. voting is now open. Eric and, and we I, don't know how you're gonna decide. No, we don't. If you're watching by the registration link in the vote box, it's just to the right of the chat box. If you're watching by a FaceTube or FaceTube, <laughs> Facebook or YouTube, tell well, us Facebook in the- Facebook had their issues yesterday. They <laughs> certainly did. Um, just tell us in the comments section, we have some lovely folks who will tally the score. So let's serve up some lunch while we wait and while you vote by moving on to today's trunk show. Hey, Joy, what delicious quilt cool project recipes to digit whip up here we go we have some really beautiful ones today <gasps> oh there we go fabric. This, this is yep this is the example of that Northcott fabric I just love this one so this mm -hmm. is called petal profusion and our good friend Terry Vandebosch of Lizard Creek quilting made it and she of course used this beautiful Northcott fabric 
Here, I'll pull that string. The thing I love most about this is that tiny little sashing, right? Mm -hmm. With those little cornerstones. But look at how cool the quilting is on that. Yeah, the little custom quilting just really adds right. to it. And you were talking about sometimes it's called like a nosegay block or those mm -hmm. kind of things. So these different colors maybe could look like flowers more than a cornucopia. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. I love it. It's beautiful. So versatile. There we oh, go. I love that. All right, so next up, we've got the Go Flowers of Plenty Throw Quilt. And this one's by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts. And this is a big quilt. It is a big quilt. It's taller than Joy, so she can take it home. <laughs> um, here we've used our cube to create the blocks between them. But look at these fun cornucopia blocks. And what is that I see? Is that a little Moda grunge there little in the Moda. background? Our good friends at Moda, look at that. I know I have some of this fabric, by the way, in my stash. Um, but I just love that it's scrappy, right? It's just different. You wouldn't often put these pieces together, but I think they look fabulous. I do too. Very cool. The fall colors. Too. Okay. All right, we'll let Pam fold it. Oh. She's taller than we yeah, are, yes. Joy. Okay, but. <laughs> All right. We've got the Gold Flowers of Plenty throw quilt. Oh, wait, that's the one we just had. Yeah. We've got the Bountiful Harvest throw quilt. That's the one you've got. This one's by Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. Yep. And Bea took, so here's that great cornucopia block, but then she took the kite shape and that isosceles triangle from the cube companion mm -hmm. angles. Look at us knowing some stuff. Yeah. Um, to make that great block. And I just love the quilting on this. It brings the whole thing together with right. the Thanksgiving theme. We have pumpkins and leaves and I it's love just it. so beautiful. So I pretty. just like the, 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 the kind of juxtaposition. We've got the real modern blocks in the corner and the center and we've got that classic cornucopia. I just love the look that it pulls together. I was thinking we should have pumpkin bars, but sure, whatever you do, whatever I think too. <laughs> we also have this one up here on Ooh, the wall. This is fun. That is done by our good friend, Jeannie LeBron. Yes, it's called the Go Be Thankful Table Topper. And this one was super fun because she also used her cube for the corners. And those are the classic alphabets. It's funny because when I was first looking at this, I didn't realize uh, this leaf shape here in the corners. I missed oh. that the first time around, mm -hmm. but it adds a nice little extra pop. Yes. And I like it as a wall hanging, quite frankly. Yeah. yeah. And you could totally make a um, table runner with the cornucopia, and then you could use the alphabet to put people's names on it. Oh, she is so. an overachiever. I, well, we only have six names you have to put on <laughs> it, so I feel like I'm, I'm good there. Oh, oh speaking look, of this. It's a pineapple. I it's a pineapple. It. It's part of the Go Big Holiday Bundle. So here's the cornucopia block. And I do love the pineapple block. Yes. I have to tell you, it's one of my favorites. I think, Joy, you've made a couple with I it. I have, yeah. It's yeah. a great. It's so, again, that's another versatile block that can look like many, many different things depending on how you color it. And the combination with this cornucopia is just beautiful. And it totally looks springy with flowers. And mm -hmm. I love right. who, who who made this for Gina us? Gina did with Gem, Gem Hill Quilts and she used, what was it, all Hoffman, Hoffman fabrics. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at those pretty batiks. Love it, love it's it. It's beautiful. Now Lynn always walks away with some kind of table topper quilt. Is that the one you're gonna walk I away think, with? I think so. I think okay. I'll, I'll sneak this back by my desk and we'll start We'll start uh, <laughs> comparing our start piles. your own pile. Uh, hang up oh, here there for she a second. Goes. Well, all of these patterns are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. So be sure you get your patterns downloaded before your dyes arrive. That way you're gonna be ready to go. There you go. Absolutely. All right, ladies. I'm going to go cook up some new ideas for projects that are coming okay. uh, for exciting new shows coming up. So you ladies have fun. Thanks, Thanks so much. Joy. Okay, how's it that we never get a lead with the quilt? I don't, I don't know. know. All right. Yeah, well, we're usually the last ones out. Maybe we just should take them. There we go. All right, quilters, because this is a die to try die. We only have a limited number. So remember, it's important to buy yours before they're gone. That's right. And we put together some very tasty specials for yes. you today so you can get everything you need. First up, you can get our new Go Cornucopia die for just $64.99. Getting the die today will save you over 24 hours. Or you can get one of our special holiday bundles. First up, we've got the Go Select 10 inch block on board die bundle, allowing you to create the most wonderful quilts with coordinating dies. Boy, quilters, this is the time to start doing holiday projects. It is. This one includes the cornucopia die, the courtyard die, the pineapple die, the chimney sweep die, all of them finished to a 10 inch block, a six by 12 cutting mat and a six by 24 cutting mat, 
Normally it would run you $383, but you can get it all today for $279.99 saving you over a hundred dollars. You know, you could make that last table runner we looked at with any of those dies in between instead of the yes, pineapple. right. Because they all finish at 10 inches. Right, yeah, you could do chimney sweep. You love that I die. love that one. Okay. Or, here's the deal, spoil yourself with the best fabric cutter available. Choose the Go Big 10 inch cornucopia starter pack. That way you're gonna get the Go Big electric fabric cutter starter set plus the cornucopia die and the six by 24 mat. Normally all of this would run you over $810, but you can get it today for just five, $599.99, saving you, you over $200, such a deal quilters. And both those bundles will ship free if you live in the contiguous US. That's right. All right quilters, also be sure to check out our current promotions on our sale page to get discounts on cutting mats, cubes and more, right? Those mats wear off hundreds yep. of cuts. You know you um, need them. You do. So to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture this QR image and go right to the bundles. If you don't have access to a QR reader, you want to open a new tab, so just go to the top of the page and click the little plus sign. Once you get there, in that top box, type in accuquilt.com party to see the bundles and place your order. Remember, quilters, you can quilt now and pay later. Get your financing today at accuquilt.com financing. All right, quilters, we are about to announce today's expert winner in just a moment. But before we do, we better give away our final prizes. Oh, today. let's do. Let's say thank you one more time to those of you joining us today. That's right. Our third lucky winner of a Go Cornucopia die is, drum roll please, Gail R. from Littleton, North Carolina. Congratulations, Gail. I wonder if they're going to make like spring or fall. I'm excited to see. I want to see them. All right, and our final winner of the day is, drum roll please, Sharon Y. from El Sombrante, California. Sombrante, you guys did that right? Congratulations. You did as far as I'm concerned. I know, we did. All right, congratulations to all of today's winners. Now, quilters, if you're looking for more fun, be sure to join me tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live on Facebook or YouTube. Now listen, yesterday, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Facebook was down. I don't yes. know, what it did people do? I it was a thing, know. right, Facebook? Yeah. Um, don't forget, quilters, you can always watch our Wednesday shows on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And for these shows, you should always register um, so that when you can win prizes, okay? Right, right. And, but tomorrow we're gonna talk about the Go Weather Vein Die. Yes. It was just released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we have a great deal, tons of fun, and hope to see you there. That's right, we love that die. That's one of our new favorites. It is. It's really versatile. It is. All right, Quilters, the time has come. The team has counted all of your votes, and it's time to announce today's expert winner. Will it be Anita with her Go It's Fall, y'all? Or will it be Jeannie with her Go Cornucopia Windy Fall Day? Well, you voted and decided that our winner is... Jeannie. Jeannie, congratulations. congratulations. Oh my gosh, okay, both of those projects were both of so them are beautiful. Beautiful. I would love making both of them. I would, I would. All right, now Quilters, two weeks ago, we told you that when we reach a thousand followers on TikTok, that we were gonna give away one of our free Go Me fabric cutters to one of our followers. And guess what, Erica? What, Pam? Right after that show, we got to a thousand <laughs> followers. So are we gonna announce the winner now? Yes, you and I sure are. The Wonderful. TikTok follower who's receiving the new free Go Me fabric cutter is, you ready? <laughs> Carrie K from Utah. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Carrie. We're gonna send Carrie a free Go Me, which you could use with the new cornucopia die. Oh, by golly, you could. All right. Quilters, it's time for us to wrap up our event. We hope that you're as excited as we are about the creative possibilities with our new Go Cornucopia die. Thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Yes. Now be sure to join us again next Tuesday on October 12th at 12 noon central time for a new trunk show called Everybody, Everybody Gets Spooky. We'll be showing you all sorts of Halloween inspiration from projects to quilts. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be so much fun. It's we have be so, so fun. many things planned. Now make sure you register for this event on our website to be entered to win one of our door prizes. And if you haven't yet, sign up to be an AQ Circle member so you can get our emails and are among the first to know about everything, like new products. 
Be sure to sign up at AccuQuilt.com slash AQ Circle. Again, thanks for joining us today. Be sure and stop by next week. Okay, it's my very favorite show of the year. Oh, yes. It's all about Halloween. Everybody gets spooky. If you've been waiting to the sh for the show to end before you buy, now is that yeah. time. Here's the link. Get everything you need to make your own quilt feast. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye, Goodbye. quilters. <laughs>